Uh, Metro Awakening next. This was a really interesting addition to the lineup in the state of play 2024 um, because obviously while there has been some activity with PlayStation VR 2, there is the sense that the momentum has been kind of dropping off and um, we kind of need something like this. Uh, John, I'm going to come to you again. This is, you know, a VR game. You're deeply invested in VR now. This is a multi-platform VR experience, as far as I'm aware, PC, PSVR 2 and uh, Quest. Um, it's been put, put together by the creators of Arizona Sunshine, not 4A games, even though 4A do have their own experiences with, um, with VR. Um, obviously a very short trailer, but, you know, it's looking promising, right? Yeah, so... As you said, this is by Vertigo Games, which has experience with the Arizona Sunshine games, which are pretty good, I would say. Yeah. But those were also targeting somewhat lower spec machines. Uh, whereas this, looking at what we're seeing in this trailer, this does seem to be dramatically more visually impressive than anything they've done in the past. Mm -hmm. And sort of in line with what you'd expect from Metro. It seems to be in development for PSVR 2 and PC. There's a Steam page. Mm -hmm. I suspect that there won't I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I'd imagine that there's not going to be a native Quest version. Okay. And if there is, then I'd be super impressed and also wonder, would that mean Quest 3 only? Uh, because there's just enough going on here where I think that might be too tall of an order. We'll see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, but either way, I actually think... Yeah, go ahead. Oliver. It is actually confirmed for Quest 2, 3, and Quest Pro. What? Yeah. <laughs> You're doing this for Quest? Yeah. Oh, man. That's... All right, then. I. That's impressive. <laughs> I will, I will see if, I mean, to be fair, I guess Arizona Sunshine 2 had a fair amount of stuff cut down to run on Quest, but it's also a very bright game where this is more like light and shadow. Mm -hmm. So I'll be curious to see how they uh, modify it to work on those hard, hardware platforms. But it, I, I guess it makes sense in terms of the audience, right? There's a lot of people on the Quest. Yeah. Uh, but this looks like something I might actually play on the Quest 3 Wi uh, wirelessly to the PC though uh, funny enough since we're talking about PS4 too <laughs> mm -hmm. but I actually think Metro as a game the concept what they're showing here is perfect for VR these sort of tight spaces work super well I think better than large open spaces actually because when you have stuff in close proximity to you your eyes uh, are more convinced by the scale Yeah, moving through this darkness uh, the, the weapons handling and everything looks really nice and it seems to be following the Half-Life Alex model, which I'm always a fan of. Uh, it might make sense to have some of the weapons be a little janky Metro style, where you kind of yeah. got to fiddle with it to unjam it. So I'll be curious to see if they play with that stuff. But um, I guess the big question I have, though, is, is the engine it's running on now, because I believe their prior games were Unity-based? Wow. Maybe? Mm -hmm. I think so. I, I kind of need to double check that actually, but uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So based on what I'm seeing here, it does seem like the Arizona sunshine games were both unity based. Yeah. Uh, this stuff here in, in this trailer to me looks beyond what we typically see from unity. If they're able to do this in VR with unity, then I would say this is shaping yeah. up to be one of the most impressive things we've ever seen. I can, unity. I can spoil this one as well, John, if you want me to. <laughs> Is it, is it Unity? It's, I'm looking at this PlayStation Store page, and it says powered by Unreal Engine. That makes sense. Yeah. So they, they drop. Yeah, okay. I was <laughs> going to say, if this was actually Unity, I was going to be like, man, these guys, they just set a new bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they, they switched to Unreal, just like everybody else yeah. in the world. <laughs> I guess so. Anything to add to that, Oliver? No, I think this looks really good. It looks a lot like the content, frankly, that I sort of expected to have at the PSVR 2 launch outside of the Horizon game. Like, yeah. kind of interesting, um, kind of kind of double-A AA or triple-A-ish experience-driven titles that are a little bit more cinematic and have some interesting aspects to them. This, like you said, it looks a little bit like Half-Life Alex in terms of the way they're handling the, the, uh, the VR-ness of it. I don't know what the right term is to use there. <laughs> but it does look good. I'm interested in it. I personally have not used my PSVR 2 in quite a while. <laughs> so I'd love to bust it out for this title. But um, yeah, it looks okay. certainly more appealing than the other PSVR 2 game that we saw, I would say. And I, I hope to see uh, more, of yeah, this, that thing. more of these kinds of games. What was that called? I don't it even know. It was Legendary Tales. Legendary Tales, Tales yeah. yeah. That's so, what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, I So funny about that, when I first saw that being shown, I was like, wow, this looks like 
kind of like it was inspired with his original PlayStation tech demos of Kingsfield one. Right. You know, that's, that's the feeling I got where it's like lots of skeletons and punching these dudes through tables and such. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I, I I have no idea. I appreciate though, how it has the subtitle action role-playing game on at the yeah. card there. <laughs> yeah, just to... Legendary Tales action role-playing game. Just to get that out <laughs> in the open. Still waiting for that Kingsfield DF Retro, John. No, you're a busy man. Hashtag just oh, saying. Oh, man, I should, I should do that, yeah. <laughs> One of these days. One of these days. 